Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use if else statement with your C++ program. If else statements are also called conditional statement because we use if else statement to check some conditions. For example, I want to check the age of a person. I can use if statement to check the age of a person using C++. So let's try to write the code for if condition just declare a variable called age and then I will output some condition so I will say see out please enter the age And then I will ask user to enter the age. So I will say C in age. Okay. Now, in order to check whether the user has entered the right age, I will say if. So this is how you can declare if condition. If and with the bracket. And then this curly bracket and in this bracket you need to give some condition so I will say if age is greater than 20 then I will print the statement that the age entered the age is Correct. Okay. I will just build the program and run it. And I will enter age 28, which is fulfilling my condition, which is greater than 20. And when I press enter, it shows me the message the age entered is correct. Now, if I enter the age which is less than 20, then see what happens. 13 and press enter then this message is not executed because this this condition is not true now in order to catch other condition other than this condition which is there in if statement we use else statement and how we write f else statement just like this so in else statement this bracket doesn't come because there is no condition it's just catching whatever this if is not fulfilling or whatever condition this if is not fulfilling so it doesn't require any bracket so i will say in the else condition the age entered is not correct now when i run the program and if this time i will enter the age which is less than 20 then it will go the program will go here and we will see age is uh, less than 20 so it's not greater than 20 then it will go to else condition and print this message okay so this is the sequence and it says age is age entered is not correct right which is this statement now there are other conditions you can give in if statement this is greater than condition you can give uh, for example equal to condition so you can give equal equal to check the equality so note here we are not giving one equal to sign we are giving two equal to equal to when you give equal to that means you are assigning some value and when you write two equal to that means you are checking the equality okay so let's check i will just build the program and run it and when i enter age is equal to 20 which is the correct condition and when i enter it it says age is correct now you can also give greater than equal to so it will 
check all the conditions of the age which is greater than or equal to greater than and equal to 20 so it has it will check all the values which are greater than 20 and equal to 20 right in the same way it will you can also check less than equal to but always remember that equal to comes after these greater than or less than sign you cannot write it like this equal equal to greater than this doesn't work you need to write greater than and then equal to okay now you can also write smaller than with which is uh, which will check whether age is smaller than 20 or not okay and the other conditions you can write is or condition so if age is equal to 20 or so we can check or condition with this pipe symbol so two times this pipe symbol just give it and just write or age is greater than 20 okay so this is just seeing whether the age is equal to 20 or so age is greater than 20 so if I enter the age is equal to 20 it will execute this statement and or if I enter the age greater than 20 then also it will check it will execute this statement because we are uh, executing or condition or means this or this whatever condition is true it will execute right so I will run the program and I will enter the age 20 which is true and it says age is correct once again I will enter the age 23 which is greater than 23 and then also it says age enter this correct I think I need to build the program and then run it and once again 23 and it says age entered is correct okay in the same way you can check and condition so for example I will declare one more variable called int height okay and I will tell the user to enter the height also okay please enter the height and I will just tell the user to enter the height also so you will user will enter age and height and then I will give end condition and I will say if age is equal to 20 and height is equal to hundred centimeters then tell me this message or show me this message age entered is correct age and height entered is correct okay otherwise age and height entered is not correct so I will just save it and run build the program here I forget equal to double equal to and see what happened it's showing me the message right so just write double equal to here and build your program and run your program and this time I will enter the age is equal to 20 and height is equal to 100 and it says age and height entered is correct or otherwise I will enter the wrong value 25 or 45 and height is equal to 90 and you can see the age and height is not correct okay so this and statement checks whether this statement is true 
and this statement is true. So both statement has to be true in this and condition, right? So I hope you have understood the concept of if conditional statement and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.